We will feed the sheet plastic at a constant velocity. Too fast will chip and too slow will melt. This 10 inch 72 tooth carbide tip blade works for sheets as thin as 16th inch up to about 3 quarter inch plastic sheeting. The basic idea here is to take manageably sized sheets and cut them into the small desired sheet sizes for the fabrication. Here we're just looking for an eighth inch clear panel for the top and the front viewing panel, a quarter inch clear base for the step base, and an eighth inch mirrored acrylic backing. Let's move through these rather quickly and uh, move on to cleaning up the edges. We remove the saw cuts from our sheets with the calibrated fence router setup. Standard half inch trim flush bit is used here. A detailed video on making and calibrating this unit can be found in the description below. Let's go ahead and change bits and get the step base piece taken care of with a 3 8 inch rabbit bit. We set the height of the rabbit bit's blade to be about an eighth of an inch. This sheet will sit with dimension that fits both interior and exterior of our final box. We'll trim to fit it later, but we're just concerned with the inner dimension at the moment. We will now begin bending our main panel with this easy to set up heater strip purchased at our local plastic store. A video showing the setup and use of this tool can be found in the description below. We will remove the masking opposite to the side we mark so it doesn't get stuck on the interior radius of our bend. For thin acrylic like this, it won't take long, so make sure to constantly check if it's ready to bend. Using a 90 degree angled jig, clamp it in place well away from the heated section. These two inch acrylic blocks and or some clamps and jigs are what I use to get evenly distributed pressure. Remember, the solvent cement will react and affect the optics on most plastic surfaces, so be careful and keep control of your applicator. After 45 minutes of drying, the joints are secure. Let's tape it up to protect the surface from the bearing of the trim flush router that we will use to trim this base panel to fit. Nothing fancy here, just some two inch blue painter's tape. One inch is definitely preferable for cost. Fabricating with a route off is a great way to achieve perfect glue joints and accurate measurements. Well there we are, a small display ready for use on your favorite action figure or figurine. Enjoy, and if you like what you saw, please feel free to like and or subscribe to my channel below.